that too much. Hi guys, uh, this is a uh, this is a water tower. It's a building in Kenworth, Warwickshire, England. It is understood that the building was constructed as a windmill in the mid 18th century by Joseph Lee of Warwick, described as a gentleman, and John Lamb of Warwick, Harbordasher. No idea what that means. There is evidence of a sale in 1778 of the mill as a going concern. The building continued to be used as a working windmill until 1854 when steam power was introduced. In 1885, the mill machinery was removed and the building converted into a water tower. This involved the doubling of the height of the brickwork, surmounting it with a 26,000 gallon iron tank. This became the town's first waterworks and provided most of Kenwell's water supply until 1939. Pretty impressive, pretty impressive. The supply from this tank was in fact in use for auxiliary purposes until approximately 1964. In 1970, Kenworth Urban District Council, anxious to ensure the preservation of such an important and historic landmark, offered it for sale by tender on the condition that it should be sympathetically restored and converted for use as a private dwelling house. Plans submitted by the architect Mr. Edward Bryan of Leamington Spa on behalf of Lieutenant Colonel Michael Wheat were accepted and a conversion was commenced in late 1972 and completed in 1974. This imagin imaginative conversion incorporates a new ground floor extension cleverly designed to harmonise with the character the tower and the hole now forms the tower and the hole now forms a unique and comfortable home successfully linking the past with the present Ooh. and here we have it um it's a beautiful place Beautiful. It's, there's a little, uh, it's not a private road, but it's a very quiet track road that connects two adjoining uh, tarmac roads. Which, talking to one of the neighbours there, saying that people do cut through there pretty quickly. And I would say then that that is probably the only downside. We were living here. I spoke to one of the neighbours, as I say, and she seemed absolutely delightful. There were some lovely cats uh, running and frolicking around there. You can see the extent, maybe, uh, of the garden area. The trees will be the boundary. Um, where that vehicle is, I believe it belongs to the house. Now, the person, if there is anybody in there, didn't come out and say anything to me. Like I said, the only person I spoke to was a neighbour. Uh, and that neighbour would be the bottom left house, just there. Um, and when she said, have you come down to get any photographs of the water tower? Because she saw me setting up. And I said, yeah, she goes, just the water stand. I said, yeah. So we're all right. And went back up the road. Um, I did ask. I mean, I didn't. I presented myself afterwards. Once I packed up, I walked up and just had a you know, bit of a general conversation. Just wondering, you know, if anybody else may have wanted anything doing there. But to be honest with you, um, I'm going to do all these again. I'm going to do the castle league and I'm going to do these because I've not used any ND filtering. And... Although I don't want to really change the, the uniqueness of what these things look like by, you know, colour grading and changing colours around a bit, it'd be nice if, you know, um, to behave to not have, like in the castle, when on the sunshine coming through, it was oversaturating an area and to be able to bring that down and not have that so much. Uh, it is why I want to use, and I've spent the money on the ND filters now anyway, so it's why I want to use the ND filters to capture these again. And in the meantime, you know, I just try and learn some of this videography and uh, s slowly tune my hands to the controls and the controls settings to how my hands work. Like I've noticed that when I pan, I start it off a little bit quick sometimes, and then I have to slow it down. So I can actually adjust that in the radio in the controller um, to make that uh, not happen so much. 
So it's going to take time for me to get used to those things and change them around. But I'm hoping on the next going out uh, to do this that I'll have that uh, I'll have that better. This is a beautiful building. You see the drainage all around the edge there. Because I wondered why I just zoomed in there. Because I know how it collects its water. Obviously it won't go off the edge. Um, but just absolutely you know, beautiful. I believe it's five, bed five seven floors. Um, we could probably look at that. Seven floors. And it's up for sale. So if anybody wants to buy it. Uh, you're quite welcome to buy it. I think uh, they're looking for about £1.25 million pounds for it. And, uh, I mean, poof, look at that deck. Just be able to sit out there and enjoy the sunshine because all of, well, yeah, pretty much all of the left-hand side would be the south-facing wall. This is the east side um, looking towards the west. So I'm, you know, flying on the east side of it looking towards the west. Uh, but isn't that absolutely, absolutely lovely? And it's all brickwork. It's, uh, you can see the individual bricks there. All brickwork. It must be amazing to have that many floors. You'd wonder if there'd be a little mini lift in there or something. But I think it's a staircase. I got no. I don't know. I, I maybe I should try and dig out some photos of the inside. But. I could probably imagine a bit of a spiral staircase going on in there. I could be completely wrong. It's just a big guess. Be completely wrong, but you know, that is uh, one very unique place to live. I went from a windmill um, to then a water tower to now a dwelling. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I think there's a bit of overexposure. That's why it looks a bit funny. It could be the monitor I'm using. Uh, on the window there, you see where it looks like it's got lots of... Um, they are not the blinds. That's just what's happening with the camera. It could be just the way that uh, I've got it in 540p for me being able to look at it while I'm you know, doing this bit of narration or jibber jabber. Lovely little balcony right off the top there be nice in some ways if that went all the way around. Now this is uh, here I'm actually trying to position so I can see the edge of the craft and then I've got to walk around the other side. Um, so it's going to probably just hang here for a moment or two just while I find uh, my vantage point on the other side so I can keep an eye on it. But just be able to stand out there on that balcony point and uh, welcome the morning sun would be absolutely fantastic. Imagine the views as well. I mean, you can see across the top of the trees now, and we're below the height of the um, that rather small balcony there. But to be able to have that sort of view as you look out, absolutely wonderful. I'm pretty sure that there's probably quite a lot of... Uh, photos or bits of video i've seen quite a few photos not so much of the video of it near me once again i'm trying to just get myself positioned around just so we can see all the way around it so if it does go in that shot a little bit i'm sorry about that and even if it seems like it gets quite close well you must all know now with your cameras it may seem like it's getting quite close but I'm still quite a few meters away from it now on the actual um, drone itself you can get it to orbit this type of thing but I've not really got the confidence to do that just yet especially as the trees are pretty high and I can't see me being able to um, climb any of them to get the drone back and I don't really want to lose the drone, so. The brickwork is absolutely lovely. But I do like these, uh, the, um, the top uh, bricks on there. Or whatever that is made of. I mean, I'm not exactly sure. It looks like it probably is some sort of engineering brick or something. And because you've got this bottom floor area. Which is lovely as well. 
which that deck sits on top on top of. Should have counted up those floors. So we got one, two floors there. <clears throat> I see a, a window just above going around the right hand side there. I don't know if that counts as another floor or how that works or because like I say I've never seen inside it. Beautiful little garden though. There's the borderline for it, I believe, or it could just be a fence in the... Yeah, I presume this part on the right-hand side belongs to the garden as well, looking at the stonework and looking at the tops of those. It was all in fitting with the main building there. The Union Jack is uh, proudly, proudly displayed there. So we can look at the one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe there's a, a lower, possibly, I would think as well, yeah, there'd be a basement there, wouldn't there? Pretty sure there'd be a basement in an old mill. Yeah, it looks like you could probably uh, do the basement. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty much it, really. That's all I got on that for going round them. Yeah, not as easy to uh, video around that as what I what I hoped, but but there we go. That's it. Anyway, guys, if you like this sort of thing, please give us a thumbs up. It really does make me feel good about making the videos, and um, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye for now.